Hello, my name's Paul Hewitt, and today we're going to have a look at the AutoCAD web app. But firstly, why use the AutoCAD web app? Well, it means anywhere access when you're outside of the office. It doesn't matter what machine you use, it doesn't matter what's installed on that machine, all you need is internet access and to use a web browser. So quite simply, the AutoCAD web app lets you view, edit, create, all in a browser and anywhere. Here are 10 things you need to know about the AutoCAD web app. Number one, visual fidelity. The web interface looks exactly the same as your desktop interface. As you can see here, side by side, we've got the web app on the left hand side and your normal AutoCAD view on the right hand side. The drawing itself looks exactly the same. Okay, some of the icons may be slightly different, but pretty much the same as what you'd be using on the desktop. Signing in couldn't be any simpler. Just choose your favorite browser, head off towards web.autocad.com and sign in using your Autodesk ID. The web app interface makes it so much easier. File management, including uploading, creating new folders and drawings, and even the recognizable icons. Your drafting tools are all there. Arcs, lines and circles, polylines, and even hatching. In the annotate section, you can use the measuring tools, revision clouds, dimension up your drawings, and mtext them leaders are all there. And obviously we need to modify our drawings. And as you can see from this list, extensive list of modification commands. Number two, your cloud-based storage. Not just your Autodesk Drive, but Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, and OneDrive. All of the icons are there. All you do is select which one you want to add, and it will be added to your storage. Number three, easy access to model and layout tabs. Just create new layouts to meet your needs. In the app, you can move swiftly between views, whether they be model tabs or layout tabs. In the same position, we've also got properties. Select an item and see all of the properties. Number four, your trusty command line is there, exactly the same as if it's in the desktop view. So just like on your desktop, as you type, it will suggest the commands you're expecting. Keyboard shortcuts work exactly the same, escape, undo, and more. Number five, you can't be working without layers. They're all there. You've got the ability to lock your layers. Turn your layers on or off. Creating new layers couldn't be easier. Just select the create new and give the name of the layer. All the settings are easy to get to, just underneath the icon in the top right. All your drafting settings down at the bottom of the screen, coordinates, O-snaps, ortho, polar, and etc. Number six, snap overrides. We all need to override those object snaps. Right hand click on your mouse, set them in there. Number seven, blocks and X references. We all need these. The block palette, as you see in AutoCAD on the desktop, is also available in the web app. External reference support, just like as you do on the desktop. Number eight, move smoothly between all of the applications. You can move your drawings between web, mobile, and desktop really simply. Saving back to your desktop is just as easy. You save or save as, and save back to web and mobile, and save to your cloud provider. Number nine, communicate with others. Plot to PDF.
Lastly, number 10, it's all part of your AutoCAD subscription. Just log in at web.autocad.com using your Autodesk ID.